Good morning, it is 5.45 a.m. and that is the time that I usually start my day and I wake up pretty early. I've actually been awake for ages because we had daylight savings the other night which means that it's totally wrecked my sleep even further. I think I woke up at 4 a.m. but I decided to just kind of stay in bed, keep my eyes closed and try and wait for 5.45 a.m. and because of that it was just so long. It took so long for it to get to that time, but it's finally here. I can finally get out of bed now. I usually wake up at 5.45 a.m., grab breakfast, and talk to my mum a little bit. Today, we're just gonna have cornflakes. It's not my favourite thing to have for breakfast, but I try not to have my favourite thing for breakfast every day, because the only place you can buy that is England, and it doesn't seem like we're going to be going to England to restock anytime soon. So, let's grab breakfast, I watch a bit of YouTube while I eat, and then I'll be back to tell you what we do next. Oh, and just so I'm totally transparent, this video is inspired by Emma Book's video about her realistic week, but I'm just going to be doing two days. Hey, uh, so the day has been continuing. I just want to let you know what I ended up watching because when I said in a previous vlog that I only watch comedy and booktube, I was wrong. I also watch a lot of fitness because of course I use the fitness tutorials but I do end up watching some of the fitness people who vlog. So this morning I was watching Matt Does Fitness and he had an announcement that they're having another child which was really cute and congratulations to them. After that it was time for me to get ready for the day. That includes like making my bed, morning routine which just includes brushing teeth and washing face etc getting dressed now i know that like with lockdown and quarantine not people people have not been getting dressed every day but whether i'm staying at home for the whole day or not i get dressed every single day without fail the only day that i have a whole day in pajamas is if i'm ill just because i just get more productive and i just feel more clean and awake once i'm dressed so what did I do up until now, 9am? Oh, the only thing I did was edit a video. It's Monday, which is upload day. And even though I kind of have a schedule with a Monday video and a Friday video, don't get me wrong, I'm not that organized. I film everything at the beginning of the month and then usually on the day I edit, subtitle and upload the video. So it's not like I'm very organized even though I tend to stick to a schedule more often than not. However, now that video is gonna be exporting and uploading to YouTube, my plan for the rest of the morning is to read River of Ink by Paul M. M. Cooper and this is a book that I have to read for uni. I know absolutely nothing about it. My class on this is tomorrow. I'm always a little bit cutting it close with the required reading, but I've got like required reading that's due Monday and Tuesday, and that's quite hard. I usually spend most of the week reading Monday's one, and then Monday and Tuesday quickly reading the Tuesday one. So I'm gonna start reading this. The plan is to get halfway through today and then halfway through for my evening class tomorrow. I'm just gonna read until 12.30, and at 12.30 it's when I have a meeting with my personal writing project tutor and I'm a bit nervous for this one because for this meeting I had to write two beginnings for my novel in verse and send them both into him and he's just going to give me my some feedback which one he thinks might be the best avenue to go down and when I was writing them I wrote run and I like poured my heart into this beginning and I loved it so much and then I had to write a second beginning and I didn't know what to do for it because I was so in love with the other one so I just kind of like choked up some words and put it on a page and I really, really hope he likes the other one, or like at least likes one of them. A bit nervous for this meeting, but all of that's out of my mind and it's time to read. Isn't it nice when your homework is reading? Ring, 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 ring. Banana phone. Do, 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 do. So. It's time for the banana break. I have lunch at about 1 to 1.30, which is pretty late, gathering from the fact that I had breakfast at 5.45. So I always have a banana every day as like a snack in between. And it's 12 o'clock, so it's about time for my meeting to start in half an hour, and I'm just getting ready and prepared for everything that we might need to discuss. I'll give you an update on reading River of Ink, and it's 300 pages, and I've read 120. So I'm only 30 pages from halfway, and then I'm done with my required reading for today, which is really, really good. I'm glad that I was able to get so far so quickly. I mean, I've been reading since around about 9am, but I have a few interruptions. I am enacting the role of a carer for Simone, so I got her breakfast and I helped her get ready for the day. And I did, you know, <laughs> check in on my phone a little bit. I'm pretty good at not checking in on my phone, but reading does take me longer because I take review notes on my phone. And I also note down any content warnings on my phone. So I did, um, 
go on my phone a little bit to do those things and I just spend a lot of time thinking when I read I spend a lot of time thinking I feel like I could be a much faster reader if I didn't keep drifting off but yeah I don't really have much to say about River of Ink it's not really the book for me I find the main character to be quite unlikable and I don't think he's meant to be unlikable but it's an interesting story I don't think I've read one quite like it and I like that it's showing a form of resistance and rebellion that's much quieter than other forms of resistance and rebellion we often see in for example young adult literature. I have to read the last 30 pages later because there's a meeting. I'll come back after the meeting and let you know how it went. I'm gonna eat this banana because I'm quite hungry. Okay so we're back for a quick little update because I don't have that much time. So I had my meeting with my personal writing tutor and he actually liked the version of the novel in verse that I didn't like but the way he described it just made me see why it was so much better and why it was also harder for me to write because it was the better piece that took a lot more work so it makes sense that he liked that one more but I'm going to be incorporating elements of the first part into it and it's he just drew out so many themes and he's actually such a great tutor he's my favorite tutor in Warwick and I couldn't have asked for a better writing project tutor I'm so excited I feel an itch to write right now but I can't because I've got another class that starts in about 25 minutes and it's 1 30 ish so I need to eat lunch I would make this a bit more fancy but I didn't have time so I made noodles for Simone's lunch and then for my own I've got udon rice noodles I'm really I really love them so much right now. Usually I make it more interesting with other things but I don't have time so I just threw some soy sauce in there and I'm gonna eat that and with every lunch I have a Greek yogurt. This is a Greek yogurt that's infused with honey and I had them every lunch meal as well so I'm gonna eat those two. I've already drank my first litre of water for today which is just as it should be right on schedule. i am got YouTube queued up and I'm gonna be watching Frank James. He does comedy sketches which have to do with the MBTI personality types and yeah I love them I also love his insights into INFJs as I am an INFJ myself and if you like comedy to do with the 16 personalities or if you like to delve into and discover your personality a bit more he focuses a lot on INFJs but also on other ones then you might like his channel as well and also he um my personal writing project tutor assigned me some reading some novels in verse to look into but he also assigned me the autobiography of my mother by Jamaica Kincaid and he assigned it to me half an hour ago and I already have it because it was on my older sister's shelf as one of the books that she has read and enjoyed and owns and texted her and she said yep you can lend it so I'll be able to read that first piece of required reading that is not a novel in verse right away and I guess I'll be buying myself some novels in verse. Then I've got an hour long class which is my 20th century US lit class. Right now it's 3pm and I just got finished with that class which was an amazing class it was so interesting everybody was discussing and participating and I just got so much from that and even though it was on a book that I didn't like Manhattan Transfer which I've talked about in previous vlogs as being quite boring it you know there's something about studying and deeply diving in, into a book in an analytical way that makes you appreciate it even if you didn't like it in terms of reading for enjoyment so even when I read boring books for class don't think that I'm writing off the class itself or the teacher's selections I often understand why they chose a particular book and I often really enjoy the analytical discussions even if I didn't enjoy the book that said also throughout the seminar while also participating and taking notes and stuff I did a little you can't really see anything because of the lighting but I did a draft plan for the next chapter or segment there's seven segments of my novel in verse so I've got the plan for the next segment and I really want to start writing but I can't I don't have time for that today right now what I'm going to do is oh you can't see my laptop it's it's right here but I'm going to subtitle my vlog video that's supposed to go out tonight and I will also do the thumbnail and the links and the books that I mentioned and all of that jazz and then I've also got a cover reveal that I'm participating in on Twitter and I'm gonna schedule my tweets I actually schedule all of my tweets so anytime you see me tweet like oh a new video went out or I not every single tweet but most of my tweets are scheduled so I'm not actually on Twitter at the time that I tweet my things so I think I'm gonna schedule a few tweets and yeah I'll check in again after I've done some work
Hello, so I just got done my workout with Chloe Ting. We did cardio and it was burnout cardio. So it was very intense, but it was really good. It went very well. I managed to do high knees for 75 seconds straight. And at the beginning of the year, 20 seconds would have been a stretch. So I'm very proud of that progress because high knees is my worst, you know, my least favorite workout exercise. The next thing I'm gonna do is shower and then it's time for dinner. Monday dinners are easy because it's always Sunday leftovers. So nobody needs to cook. Dinner's practically a microwave. Of like two minutes away so we're gonna eat dinner and then I'm gonna give Simone a bath while she's in the bath I'm gonna read those last 20 pages of River of Ink that I need to be halfway through and I totally forgot that today I promised Simone we could watch Hocus Pocus now this is like a real life thing but real life thing I don't watch that many films so I probably would not be watching a film if this was my everyday Monday but this Monday and actually tomorrow as well I have some social film nights planned in so <laughs> yeah we're gonna watch Hocus Pocus tonight but it's good because I got all through my to-do list and I've been acing it today productivity wise so I've definitely earned some time maybe with a glass of wine and a film with my sister. That is all for today. I'm calling it a night because it's 11.40 p.m. and I'm exhausted. I had a nice time watching Hocus Pocus with Simone. We had apple crumble left over from the apple crumble I baked yesterday. Nice glass of wine and then I spent quite a few, like quite a lot of time talking to Simone and just laughing and chilling with her, which was a nice way to end my day. I then came upstairs and did a little few things, messing around on the computer, just updating some stuff but it is time to go to sleep especially as I was not sleeping that well last night so hopefully tomorrow can also be a productive day and you can come along with me again So good morning, it's currently 9am and I've already started off my morning, had breakfast at 5.45 as usual, got dressed and you know got ready for the day, teeth, all that jazz and then I watched two and a half hours of booktube so what I tend to do with watching booktube is I watch booktube while I do something else for the book community so this morning I haven't been on there for a while just because I've been a bit busy I replied to all of the insta comments on my latest Olivia's Catastrophe Instagram post and on my Yogi Dragoness Instagram post and then I just spent some time interacting with the book community on Twitter retweeting some videos that I liked and <laughs> it's my laptop and things like that so I was online for about two and a half hours and I kind of do that I tend to set time periods where I allow myself to interact with the book community online and then I kind of don't go on that much because my Twitter comes out scheduled and also like I post an Instagram post and then like whenever I have the time to reply to all the comments I reply to them all and I love interacting with you guys so the best way that I can do that but also maximize the time is to watch booktube while I do that and I spread some comment love on some of the videos that I watch so that was what I did this morning for two and a half hours I tend to do it in big chunk sessions like every two to three days which is always nice it keeps me updated and I like you know consuming booktube content now so for the rest of the morning I'm going to do a couple of things when I was in my personal writing tutor meeting I was making notes on my phone rather than on my notebook so I want to type out all of those notes and lay out all of his feedback so that I can refer to it while I'm editing so I'm gonna revise those notes and write them out and then I'm also going to catch up on my sister's blog posts my sister has a blog which is called the wheelchair teen where she talks about her experiences as a black disabled teenager and it's an amazing blog even as someone who has grown up with her and known her those blog posts still make me so emotional and I still learn so much from her I have a link down below and I really really love her blog so I'm gonna go and spread some comment love on that and then it'll be time for me to read for the rest of the morning and I'll be reading River of Ink by Paul M. Cooper I have my class on this book in the evening so I need to read the last 150 pages and nail this one <laughs> Oh, 
it is now 4 p.m. So we fast forwarded a lot of time. I've just been having a bit of a slow and not very motivated day, but that is okay. We're still getting things done, but I'm just taking them at my own pace. So you saw that I had lunch, a bit more fancy today, some rice and some meat. And I decided to not do yoga at 12 because I just was feeling you know not feeling it and I try not to work out or do yoga when I'm not feeling it that said I did manage to finish reading River of Ink by Paul M. M. Cooper I think I finished half an hour ago and this took me ages to get through the last you know the last half even though it didn't take me too long to get through the first half yesterday and that has to do with the fact that I found it to be utterly boring and once I realized and acknowledged that I found it to be boring it made reading it a lot more tedious and a lot more hard going but I got it finished it's done this was actually a book that I owned before it was set for uni so it's been on my TBR for a very long time and it's good that I could finally read it and get to it even if it was one that I didn't enjoy in the end and now I'm feeling a bit more I don't know ready to move my body so I'm gonna go and do some yoga it's supposed to be a splits training today but I'm not feeling like doing the splits so I'm just gonna start do all of the routine. It's supposed to end in splits on left and right. And we'll see if I end up doing the splits, but if I don't, that is also perfectly okay. And then I think after the time I'm done with yoga and I've showered myself and I've helped Simone, it'll probably be time for my class that is about this book. Unlike my literature classes, my creative writing classes are an hour and a half long. And this is my late class. It goes from 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. So by the time I'm done with class, I'm always so hungry for dinner. And mom has dinner duty on Tuesdays because I'm busy with class until 7.30. night starts in 20 minutes I finished my class and after my class I cooked dinner for myself so in the end I ended up not wanting to eat what my family were eating which meant that I did need to cook afterwards and so yeah I cooked my own dinner and then I watched Matt does fitness as I was eating because everybody had eaten before while I was in class and <laughs> now we're here at 8:40. So I'm going to brush my teeth and do my getting ready for bed situation, like grab into pyjamas and all of that jazz now because I strongly suspect that after watching Rebecca I will have absolutely no energy to do those things and I'd rather do them before than fail to do them later. I think Rebecca's going to be the end of my night. Typically I'd be doing other things now but seeing as, you know, I really want to watch Rebecca I did push for this film night to happen on a Tuesday. Uh, yeah, I'll be back with my thoughts on Rebecca and such. I bet, I bet it will be past midnight. Like, often when we do these film nights, you know, even though we're gathering together to watch a film, we chat for a while beforehand, so we probably will chat for an hour, and then it'll be ten, and then there'll be two hours of watching the film, and maybe a little chat after about what we thought, and by then it'll be past midnight. And, I mean, for my friends who are Asta, she did a little cameo in one of my very earlier... Australia vlogs and then there's Faye who has been on this channel before. They're in the UK right now so they're an hour behind me. Hello, so I'm here to just close up with some thoughts on Rebecca. Actually, I think I still need to figure out my thoughts on Rebecca before I share my thoughts on Rebecca. But I do want to say I actually enjoyed it. I didn't expect to enjoy it because I'd heard a lot of negative things but I thought it was more pleasant than I was expecting like of course it doesn't hold a candle to the book and I'm not sure about all of the casting but I'm telling you Miss Danvers she stole the show in that film but anyway it's time for me to go because it is over half midnight as I did say we were probably going to run over but that's not a problem Wednesday is my weekend day so I probably I don't need to be up at 5 45 but I probably will be knowing me and my automatic body clock. So tell me what is the first thing that you tend to do as soon as you wake up. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more and don't you forget to hit the notification bell to be updated every time I have a new video and you know what they say, onwards and upwards, excelsior.